Hello, um, my name is Graham Guest. I'm the principal and CEO of Telford College. Uh, thank you for taking time to watch this, uh, what I suppose is a promotional video. Um, I just want to take a little bit of your time just to explain a little bit about the college. Um, and first of all, a, a key message from, for me, uh, which is just as so much about being a parent as it is about being a principal, is that the decision you make when you leave school isn't so much an important decision. And at Telford College, we pride ourselves in giving impartial advice and guidance. I want you to make the right choice about the right course, about the right pathway that suits you for your future. And hopefully it's at Telford College, but if, if there's another college that or sixth form that's better for you, then as long as you make the right choice, then that's the best thing you can do. Uh, but our staff are here to help and guide you make that decision. We have two main uh, routes for you to follow. One is an academic route, uh, which is the traditional A-level pathway uh, in our seventh form centre. And then the other is a more vocational technical route for which suits other students that come to Telford College. Both, uh, you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. You can go on to any university with both pathways or an employer or apprenticeship. You choose what, what is the best pathway for you. We don't mix pathways in the main. We don't mix a vocational or a, 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 an A-level purely because universities look for the pure pathway of either A-level or a vocational technical route and that's the best advice uh, we can give you. But any pathway, can, you, can, you can pursue any career that you want to and raise your aspirations at Telford College. Our aim is for you to achieve your qualifications with us, uh, higher level qualifications that you probably thought you could achieve, uh, progress on to a great university uh, or uh, an apprenticeship which is with a great employer with career prospects or another form of employment and develop those skills that employers are looking for you to develop which is key for Telford College. We offer over 20 A-levels at Telford College uh, and we'll be increasing the number over the next uh, couple of years. Uh, our pass rates are extremely high and well above the national average uh, at 99% last year and our pass rates in STEM subjects, which is the science subjects, as you know, is 100%, um, which again is, is, is great. Our value-added school is well above the national average. Value-added is where students achieve a higher grade than they were predicted. That's because our staff focus in with full support for students. So if you might have been predicted a C, our staff will work with you and encourage you uh, with your hard work, achieve a B or, or even an A, which is, is great, great stuff, which for many of our students means that they move on to some of the top universities in the country. 90% of our students progress to their first choice of university, which is, is great, great news for them, uh, and we work with some of the top universities in the country. We also offer uh, around 30 apprenticeship uh, standards, uh, all with employers, all with great career prospects uh, for those students who want to study and earn money at the same time. We work with uh, the local hospital trust, with some high class engineering companies and construction companies with real clear progression routes. I at one point in my life was an apprentice so um, I fully endorse all pathways uh, as we, that can allow you to progress to the career that you want to progress to. We also have st students studying on those vocational technical uh, programmes as I mentioned in a variety of subjects. We have around 3,600 students on campus throughout the week, those are young people. But it, it's a friendly campus, although we, we want students to work hard, um, it is a, a really friendly and multicultural uh, campus, the, uh, one that I'm incredibly proud of and, and that staff and students working uh, together. The campus is of a, a high quality, having worked all around the country, um, I, I've never worked as a further education campus quite like Telford, it, it is exceptional uh, and if you've read the press you will see that we're in the process of moving some of our provision 
right into the town centre at the station quarter and some of that will start from September 21 and we're investing around 4 million uh, on the main campus over the next couple of years uh, to keep ahead of technology and move the curriculum forwards. I can only do that uh, with a great team and the staff at Telford College, absolutely every one of them, from the security guard who greets you on the morning, to the estates team, to our tutors, to our pastoral team, are all focused on working with you to progress you in your qualifications in your career. Um, that's what they're here for. They change lives every day and they're looking forward to working with you to change your life in the future and to get those qualifications to allow you to aspire to where you want to go. Let's hear from one of those students, former students. It, it, it's Faye Oliver, a former student of Charlton, uh, who's gone on to the University of Birmingham to study English language, uh, psychology and sociology. So over to Faye. I'm Faye Oliver and I'm 17 years old. I went to Charlton School before I came here. I really liked the idea of coming to a college rather than a sixth form because it felt like it was more independent, it felt more grown up, but also not throwing you in at the deep end and um, helping you along the way. I'm studying A-levels in English language, sociology and psychology. I definitely want to go to university to do English language. I've sent my application off and um, I firmly accepted the University of Birmingham one. I was a really shy person when I first came to the college, but just over time I feel like I've come out of my shell a lot more. It's really helped me to become my own person. One of my highlights was my publishing journey. I was able to go on the radio. I, I, I didn't expect all that to happen. One Million Mentors is um, another thing that the college have done to um, help me start my career. It's just the skills that I need so that when I am ready to decide what I want to do, they, they've really helped me, the mentor has, to get to that stage where I know exactly what's needed and what I need to work on. I have a, a really good relationship with all of the teachers, I think, here. They all are really happy to offer help whenever I need it. I definitely made the right decision to come to Telford College. And if I could go back in time, I would definitely do the same again. I'd, I'd pick the same college, I'd pick the same A-levels. Um, yeah, I'm really happy that I came here. That's a great achievement by Faye. And, and uh, there's another former student, Billy Price, who, who discovered his love of music at um, Telford College and he's now studying his PhD at the University of Liverpool which is great stuff and he, both Faye and um, Billy keep in touch with the college uh, and, and talk to uh, new students which is uh, great stuff. Thank you for that introduction Graham. Hello everyone, hope you're all doing okay. My name is Billy Price. Uh, I'm a former Charlton student who left school in 2013 to join Telford College I just wanted to take a few moments to talk about my experiences following school and what I've gone on to achieve since then. Where should I begin? Well, my story is pretty straightforward, really. I merely followed what I was passionate about, and the fact that has led me to where I am today is just a natural outgrowth of wanting to learn more. At Charlton, I had music lessons with Mr and Mrs Johnson, who I believe have retired now, but I just wanted to give them a quick shout out for being great teachers. Anyway, after leaving school, I enrolled onto a level two music course while resetting my maths before progressing onto level three afterwards. After college, I joined the University of Liverpool to study a bachelor's in music, and I've been there since 2016. Uh, I then turned my focus from performance to research, completing a master's in musicology, and I'll begin my PhD in September this year. Um, I hope to become a university lecturer as I find the idea of knowledge really invigorating. I want to be in a job where I'm learning as much as I'm teaching, basically. Um, so going back to my time at Telford College, or New College as it was formerly known, uh, I genuinely loved my course and I felt like for the first time in my life I had a robust career direction. I made friends for life and my teachers made college a really nurturing environment to learn in. Suddenly education didn't feel like a chore anymore and I think that was the moment where maturity really set in for me. Some people really know what they want out of life and that's fantastic, but I'm here to tell you not to fret if you're in the opposite camp. 
I'll be honest with you, when I left school, I had no idea what direction my life was heading in, and I certainly had no academic prospects. I really couldn't have imagined I'd be where I am today, but trust the process. Learn new things every day, no matter how small, and follow what makes you tick. So all in all, I want to wish you the very best of luck this year. I understand it's going to be quite different, but one thing I know is that Telford College will look after you. You'll be in good hands. Go forth, achieve, and above all, enjoy yourselves. Cheers, everyone, and back to Graham. I'm also pleased to introduce Laura Westcott to you. Laura uh, studied an apprenticeship with us uh, and now is a wellbeing officer at the local hospital trust, um, which again is, uh, is great stuff for Laura. And Laura often comes back into college to talk to students about the opportunities that apprenticeships can, can give to everybody. I went to Telford College and did a apprenticeship day and they gave me interview advice and practice. They helped me write a CV and told me all about apprenticeships that were live. And then the Shrewsbury and Telford Hospital one came up and I went for it and fortunately I got it and it is the best thing that I have ever done. I wouldn't change anything because my confidence has massively grown. I'm a changed person now and I'm just finally doing what I enjoy to do. It's been a difficult 12 months for all of us um, and at Telford College we, we've used that 12 months to deliver in a different way which has been well received by students and we'll continue to do some of that next year. So when we greet you in September 21 or even September 22, um, we'll be looking forward to developing those skills with you and allowing you to progress to the next stage of your career. Hopefully by September things might be back to normal um, but if they're not, we'll be prepared, we will still offer blended learning uh, our aim because none of our students missed out in the last 12 months, so anybody coming to us in September will not miss out. We have our blended learning platforms, we still have an excellent team, so we'll, we'll welcome you to uh, support you into the next stage of your career. I can't offer you a cafe society yet, but what I can offer you is excellent facilities excellent staff who are absolutely focused on moving you on to the next stage of your life and career. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the last five or ten minutes of this video. Good luck with your studies and I look forward to welcoming you in person when you enrol at Telford College in September. Thanks for watching.